Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be doing a bit of an informational video. So, with the Star Wars Rogue One movie coming out um, last December, and now finally the LEGO Star Wars um, 2017 winter sets being released uh, in the United States, we are kind of in the full swing of the new um, like army building season. So um, as many folks are now starting to um, get the sets and build up their imperial armies. So in this video we're going to be doing a bit of an informational video talking about the most effect cost effective way to build your first or your imperial army. So in this video we're going to be talking about uh, the most cost effective way to build an army um, for people of all budgets. Um, and again, in this video, we're going to be exploring how to build um, armies using sets and then also just buying individual minifigures. So there's quite a bit to talk about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at sets. So how to build a Imperial army using Lego sets. So, as of now, Winter 2017, there are a few sets that include Stormtroopers or Death Troopers or even, like, Hover Tank Pilots. So, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to build up your army of, for, of Imperial uh, Trooper variants. So, we're not going to be including any Imperial Officers or, um, like, uh, yeah, Imperial Officers or, like, Death Star Troopers in this video. It's just the actual Stormtroopers. So... Starting off, let's go ahead and take a look at um, Force Friday, um, so like the end of the year 2016. During that time, September 2016, there were um, not as many sets released that actually included uh, regular Imperial Stormtroopers. Uh, the big one at that time was the Imperial Hover Tank, and that of course included our Imperial Hover Tank pilot minifigure. Which I think looks pretty good. It, this, uh, unlike many pilots, this can actually be used this minifigure as more than just a pilot. You can actually use them as a bit of a special forces as well. Um, so that was a thirty dollars set, and that is the only way you can get those figures as if now. So it's not um, as cost effective because thirty dollars is definitely quite a bit, especially if you are just looking for minifigures. So I would feel that unless you have the money that I would skip out on the hover tank pilots and just uh, try to focus more on the regular troops and then move on um, to the pilots. Now, starting off, uh, all another set we got in September 2016 was the TIE Striker, which I feel um, is, again, had one shore troop. So if you're into building shore troopers, which we'll get into in just a bit, I feel like, uh, again, uh, the the end of the year 2016 sets aren't the best for army building. Again, the hover tank also it's big because of its vehicle. The tie striker is quite overpriced, and again, it's mainly because of the vehicle. So if you're trying to build up your imperial army, I would say uh, don't go for any of the end of the year 2016 sets, and rather go for the 2017 sets, uh, the winter 2017 sets. And um, there are two sets only, actually, that include a Stormtrooper or Death Trooper. And those sets are, um, for one, we have the Imperial uh, Trooper Battle Pack here. And second, we have the Y-Wing Starfighter. Alright, so here's a look at the Imperial Trooper Battle Pack. Now this um, set is definitely pretty good, because unlike the First Order Battle Pack, this includes two Stormtroopers and two Death Troopers, so it's an excellent set. The only con is the price. The price is $15 um, in the United States, so it's a bit pricey, as previous battle packs have cost anywhere from $11.99 to $12.99 in the last like five years. So it's definitely pricey, $15, even though you get four great minifigures, $15 is pricey. But the good part is many stores like Toys R Us, Target are putting it on sale. I got five of these for $10 each at Target. So there are definitely deals coming very fast. Toys R Us also at one point put them at 
So this would be your main way to go if you are trying to build a cost-effective uh, Imperial army. Because you get four minifigures and a build. So it's definitely the best deal. Um, and if you see them on sale, I'd say you definitely that's the time you should get multiples. Um, so I would wait till they get on sale um, instead of spending the $15. And I'm telling you, they're going to get on sale quite quickly. Um, so that's, I think, the best set you would get um, in terms of uh, best set for army building. Now, there are also, once again, the Y-Wing Starfighter, which includes one Stormtrooper. It's, what, like 60 bucks, 50 bucks. Again, that is just for the ships. I would, again, stay away from that set because there's really no use. Unless you want the actual vehicle, then you can go ahead and get it and you get another Stormtrooper with it. But, again, I would stay away from that set in terms of army building. And then lastly, we have Shore Troopers. So Shore Troopers are available, again, in the TIE Striker, which I, again, do not recommend on buying. And then they're also included in the um, in the Battle of Scarif set. Now, that set is also a pretty decent set, um, but again, I'd wait till it gets on sale, $30 or $40 on sale, um, and then I'd pick that one up. I feel like Shore Troopers definitely are an important part of a, uh Imperial Army, but again, not really too important. So I would, again, first try to get uh, just regular troopers and then go on to the um, different other variants like shore troopers. So once again, to recap, I feel like the Imperial Trooper Battle Pack here is the best set um, to pick up uh, to build up your Imperial Army. And I would wait till they get on sale eleven ninety nine to nine ninety nine. Uh, is probably where that will range. So definitely keep on checking um, your Target stores. That's a good place to get them. Toys R Us, Walmart. Those are the three retail stores you can get them. Um, you can also try and pick these up again online. Amazon, uh, you will find deals again anywhere from $9.99 to $11.99 on Amazon. And then you can also go the eBay route and try bidding for um, these battle packs. And sometimes you might get them $9.99 or even below if you're lucky. Um, if I do eBay bidding, it definitely is a bit more time consuming, but at the end you can get a bit of a better deal on these sets. Um, maybe even try doing it at odd times of the night because then there'll be less people on um, and you do have a better chance then of getting a uh, winning a bid for a uh, smaller price. So definitely those are where I suggest getting them off of. Um, again, Amazon, eBay, um, and then in, in terms of retail stores, I'd go to Target, Walmart, and um, Toys R Us. Those are the place where there are definitely going to be sales. And the Lego store, sadly, they won't have sales. It'll be $15 throughout. So I wouldn't really go there as much, uh, just if you want to get it at the most uh, cheapest and cost-effective price. So there is a look at uh, getting minifigures through sets. All right, and next off, we're going to be taking a look at buying LEGO Stormtrooper minifigures individually. Now, this is where it gets complicated because there are just so many different uh, Stormtrooper minifigures um, that are on um, internet sites. So, as of now, these are the Stormtroopers that you can get through the LEGO sets uh, retail, and this is definitely the one that many folks favor. But if you try to go online, so that's uh, the website called brooklyn.com. Uh, that's, again, a Lego uh, resale, uh, secondhand resale site. Um, you can go through eBay again and Amazon. Those are your three ways um, to get Stormtrooper minifigures. And I would definitely go brooklyn.com because they're the cheapest. Um, so I'll let you go through each website uh, individually. So starting off brooklyn.com, uh, there you can get all types of different Stormtrooper versions, and they all um, uh, have a difference in price. For example, these guys here are the newest ones. They'll go anywhere from like 4 or $5, uh, and they will decrease in price now that they're more widely available in battle packs. You have like other ones. These guys here are super cheap. These are a different version, so you can see right there. These were the Star Wars Rebels version of the Stormtroopers, so... Um, if you want continuity, if you want all your Stormtroopers to look exactly the same, I would suggest picking one of these versions and just buying many of these. These are probably going to be the cheapest of all the Stormtroopers. They go for even 
a couple bucks each. So these are ones that not as many folks like, but you can get these couple bucks each on Brooklink. And many of the retailers have like 30, 40 plus, even 100 plus of these guys because they were included in a cheaper battle pack. So that's what I'd say for that. Um, there are again, minifigures like these. These are also uh, like $3, $4 each on brooklink.com. They're a bit of an older version, no lead printing, so if you're interested in this, that's what that would be for. And then you have some really rare ones. Like this one goes for like 15, 20 bucks each. I definitely wouldn't go for this one. Um, and then you have like this classic, like very first um, Stormtrooper ever made back in like 2000. This guy, again, very similar to the previous one. That also goes for about four or five bucks. So if you're buying minifigures, uh, Stormtrooper minifigures individually, I would say uh, the best ones, again, are these guys here because they're going to go down in price quite a bit uh, now that they're more widely available. Or if you really like these guys, um, you can go for them. And actually, they do have like printing as well. So you can go for these guys. These are like a couple bucks. So if you really uh, are, have a limited budget, these guys are the ones I try to pick up. But if you don't like these, these would be the next best ones, which are the ones available now. And they'll be much more widely available. So that's uh, what I'd talk about in terms of uh, Brooklyn.com. Then you have Death Troopers. Those, there's only one version or two versions. Uh, this one and then one from Krennic Shuttle. I would stay away from the Krennic Shuttle ones. Those are too expensive. So these guys, and again, their prices will vary um, as time goes on. So that's uh, the route I'd go if you're trying to buy individual minifigures um, through Brooklyn.com. You can also buy individual minifigures uh, through um, eBay. I wouldn't go Amazon. Amazon's kind of overpriced. So eBay is another place if you're trying to just buy individual uh, Stormtrooper minifigures. For that site, I would say, again, they're more expensive than Brooklyn.com. But if you for or get lucky, I think what you do on Brooklyn, there's a, on eBay, the good part is uh, bidding. You can get um, be lucky and you might get some of these guys for like a couple bucks if you're at the right time of the day and you get the winning bid. So that's really good because you can get deals on eBay, you can get winning bids. Um, and get things for a cheaper price, but again, it's a bit more difficult, a bit more time consuming, um, and it's also a bit harder to do. Um, but also on eBay, what I'd look for is lots, like 10, 20 of these. Uh, usually they are like 10, 20 minifigure lots of Stormtroopers. They're usually cheaper. If you can just try and buy like a huge lot of like 100 plus just random minifigures and you might find like 20, 30 Stormtroopers just in that you can do that. Those are usually going to be cheaper. Just large lots of like many minifigures and you can pick out uh, that overall will be of a cheaper price. So on eBay, I would say lots. Um, and again, bidding, try to get more than one minifigure because each minifigure will be costing more. But as you get more and more uh, together, they will overall have a cheaper price per minifigure. So that's for Brooklink. Um, out of Brooklyn and eBay, those are the two uh, sites I'd go for for uh, minifig hunting if you're trying to buy them individually. Um, but that's how you do it individually. Alright, so now that we've discussed the different sets you can get the uh, Stormtroopers in, where you can get those sets, and then the types of minifigures uh, for Stormtroopers if you're interested in but just buying them individually, and where to buy them. Which one is better? Well, uh, in terms of a budget. So let's say you have a really limited budget. You need the cheapest way possible. What would that be? Well, I would say um, it really depends on what you uh, have time for. For example, sets are definitely easier, uh, a lot easier, especially if you get them like $10 each um, if you get the battle packs on sale. You divide by four. Each guy will be two fifty for four of these guys, which I mean, and free parts technically. Uh, so that would be a stellar deal because these guys definitely go four bucks each plus four dollars over. These guys I feel like are going to go four or five, maybe even six bucks each. So I think it's definitely a bit more cost effective to buy the battle packs on sale rather than individual minifigure uh, shopping. I think that's definitely a lot better. 
But if you can't find any of these battle packs on sale, then I'd say try going the individual minifigure lot. Um, then in that case, that'd be cheaper because you're paying almost $4 a figure. Which, I mean, still, I guess, would be better, but these guys will decrease in value. I say these guys are going to go $3 or so. These guys probably look 5 So, still, actually, in that case, uh, battle packs are the best way to go. So, they would definitely be, actually, more cost-effective, a lot more cheaper compared to individual minifigure uh, purchasing. Now, unless, of course, you're looking for any of the other variants. If you don't like these variants, then, yes, you can go to... Um, just the secondhand markets like Brooklyn and eBay and buy the minifigures from there. Once again, these guys here are going to be the cheapest, couple bucks each. So if you don't really care how your Stormtroopers look, but you just want Stormtroopers, these guys are going to be pretty cheap. You can get a really big army for cheap. Second would be these guys um, if you want um, the second cheapest, which they will get cheaper. So I would say definitely also wait it out. If you have the patience, wait it out. Uh, these battle packs are going to go on sale. And these minifigures, uh, Stormtrooper minifigures here in the front will drop in value significantly. So I would say gradually build up that for Imperial Army. Don't go all at once um, unless, of course, you can find a good deal. All right, but there you go. That's going to do it for a look at this informational video on how to build your LEGO Imperial Army for the most cost-effective way. So a bit of a quick recap, we have sets, you can again buy the battle pack, that's the most cost-effective. Then you have individual minifigures, you can buy those on sites like brooklink.com, eBay. On e uh, brooklink is cheaper, but eBay could uh, be better if you find larger lots of minifigures. In terms of sets, I'd go again, the retail stores and then um, eBay if you can get a better deal in terms of bidding. But anyways, there you go. That's a look at how to build a cost-effective Imperial Army. I hope this video was helpful. If so, a thumbs up would be great. And do not forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos down below. So tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. This is Brookwizard59 and I'll see you all next time.